back in the Badger locker room again with Coach Eves. And we talked earlier about the offensive forecheck. Now we're going to talk again about special teams. It happens so much in the game. You get power plays. You need to create power plays. We're going to go over three components to make a successful power play. Exactly, Robbie. And once again, before we get started, we'll take a look at the overview of the game. Now play without the puck, as Robbie said, we went over that last time. Now we have play with the puck. And the acronyms that we have within our schemes is our breakouts, our breakout, the neutral zone, B-O-N-Z, our power play, our line rush four when we attack the offensive blue line, and then our in zone offense once we're in the offensive zone, how we play. So again, we're going to take a look at the uh, power play, as Rob said. There's zone entry, the three components, that's number one, in zone offense, and then puck retrieval within that. As you look at the whiteboard here, Rob, we, we've kind of set it up. You can see that the defensive team is in a 1-3, and we face this a lot in the WCHA. And the thing that we like to do here, as you can see where our people are down, our defenseman, usually uh, uh, number six, Mr. Schultz, is very good at this. He's going to swing and bring the puck. We've got a forward that'll swing here, a forward that'll swing here. This defenseman is kind of like a safety valve. He's going to be our, our late guy coming up. But what Justin tries to do is get this guy to commit to him. So as he comes back and he's going to swing with him, this forward knows that when he does that, he's going to come underneath. What Justin will do is drop it back. Now this guy is all the way out of the picture. He's over here. So now we've got this lane. He's coming up here, and we've got support across the ice. So as we attack, a lot of times these guys back right off, Robbie. Yep. And as they back off, that allows us to skate into the zone and make a play right here. And we keep the puck. We don't have to dump it in well, and go get it. That's the question I was asked. You want to carry the puck in yeah. and not dump it. Because if we have to dump it, then it becomes a 50-50 puck. We would rather keep control as we go into the zone. Perfect. 